Yesterday on Wilson Drive in the Fremont area, police responded to an armed suspect threatening some of his family members with what police believed to be a rifle. The man was surrounded and both connecting streets were blocked by police vehicles. SWAT teams waited out of sight of the armed individual while officers attempted to talk to the man and convince him to set down his weapon. The following video was captured by a ring doorbell on the front porch of my house. After about an hour and a half of the man continuing to act agitated and eventually aim at an officer, he was shot with a beanbag shotgun in an effort not to harm him but give the police enough time and apprehend him. However, the shot was not effective and the suspect continued to fight back and the police were forced to fire an actual gun. The man died shortly after arriving at the hospital due to his injuries. Police discovered after taping off the area that what was believed to be a rifle was actually a BB gun. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Packing events like parties on Memorial Day, many people ignored social distancing protocol, and by Tuesday, more than 1,660,000 Americans have been affected and 98,000 have died due to coronavirus. Mexico. One of the top countries for tourism, according to the World Travel and Tourism Council, says they plan to reopen in June for travel. Good morning. The high temperatures yesterday set a new record high for Syracuse on May 26, with a temperature of 93 beating the old record of 90 set back in 2011. And it is also tied for the second highest temperature ever recorded in Syracuse, only being beaten by one 96 degree day back in 1977. So today's weather will be pretty humid again with those high temperatures coming back and some possible afternoon showers and maybe even thunderstorms, um, but most mostly dry throughout the day. Uh, the high is in the upper 80s to around 90 again, but feeling like the mid 90s with the humidity. And the record high for today is 91 degrees set back in 1939. Tomorrow, we'll have a better chance of a few showers and thunderstorms during the midday and the afternoon. It won't be quite as hot, but still warm and muggy with highs in the low 80s. Friday will be breezy and steamy with some showers and thunderstorms likely, with a high in the mid 80s again. Saturday will be breezy and refreshingly cooler after that thunderstorm on Friday and less humid under some sun and a high near 70. Sunday will be much cooler with some clouds and sun and a high around 60. Monday will have a mix of sun and clouds, still that breezy and cool feel with a high in the low to perhaps mid 60s. And Tuesday will have increasing clouds with some possible showers or two developing towards the afternoon and a little milder temperatures with highs in the upper 60s to maybe 70 with enough sun. I'm Allie with your weather. The NBA is reportedly considering using a World Cup-style format for the first round of the playoffs in the NBA season reset. The 20 teams with the best record would be broken into tiers and then placed into evenly matched groups and play their games. I'm Lucas Sports.